Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Indie Mayhem Show, and if you've been listening lately, usually we just have the interview, but if you are a long-time listener, you know that we did something a little differently back on Indie Mayhem Show 100 at the end of the year, uh, but with me, I, I think, I want this to become a tradition, I don't know, we'll see how much trouble it gets in, us into this year, but I have with me, now this is a little weird, because we're not every, the, the, the STDs are not assembled entirely. But uh, the sexy, talented dudes we know from International Wrestling Cartel and some other promotions here in the greater Western PA and West Virginia. I don't know. Where else are you guys? You guys are all over the place, I'm right? Uh, the STDs are everywhere. STDs can be all over the body, Sorg. Oh, okay. Uh, Corey Futuristic is with us right now, as well Hello as there. Lee Ryan. Hello. I Ryan. got your name right. With an S, you still. Ryan, damn it. How dare you! Wow, child, Lee Ryan's. Uh, but no, we're good. We're we're, we're here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me once again. Uh, now, Chess you. Flexor and Brian McDowell. I, I, need, I need. Where did they go? I don't know. No. Where did they I, go? I don't know. No we're here. Um, here a little bit ago. And th- they said start going. the show, and then they walked out of the door. I'm yeah. I'm so very confused. That's why everybody's camera everybody. angle was super weird because we're expecting more people to to, to, to kind of sit in on. It. Are you, aren't you going to eat that chocolate over there? Which one? This one right here. Yeah, this on one the, sitting there. I mean, I'm, maybe I'm that's nothing... not chocolate. Well, that's that's the, the only reason I'm afraid to is because how long has it been in this couch? Um, it's been against someone's buttocks. Uh, the, our producer was throwing it at some of our guests earlier in the night. So the questions the, have been asked. I'm already maybe yeah, it was go, from it. somebody's buttocks and it's not chocolate. So delicious. So 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 this is um I mean this is not our typical thing. Um we we had kind of a Christmas party. Invited you guys over. There were gifts. Um mm. I you know we, we we talked about things. I I watched first of all. I watched it today. I have not watched this. You never seen it. I had never seen it. Until I this even morning. endured it when I was sober. You even endured it. When <laughs> yeah. I don't know how interesting it is to anybody. I fast forward through some parts because yeah. it was hard to watch. It was hard to watch. <laughs> I realized there was a point where I twice asked, I think, the same questions of Brian McDowell about bowling. <laughs> so it's not a bad question. We still don't know the answer. We though. still, yeah. We're, maybe we'll get it out of him this. Year. I don't even know. I can't even. I, he never told me if he bowled a three hundred. The no. bowler loved it, though. He watched it like 10 times at really? his house after it happened. I know Andrew Palace watched it. Uh, maybe was forced <laughs> to watch it, but but, but he, he he commented on it with me. Uh, mm-hmm. So so that was a thing that happened. Um, but uh, again, so so first of all, I was told I need to drink this. And, you do. It's uh, very strong. This very is delicious. a dogfish head 120-minute IPA. Worry, By the way, a uh, friend of the show who was here earlier for <laughs> Awesome Cast... Uh, I don't know if you guys, it, you can't find it on, on online anymore, but he had a thing where he chugged this. I bet you he vomited. Uh, well, he had, a, he had a paramedic on duty <laughs> uh, with that him. That bad. Yeah, well, I mean, just, just in case. And uh, he said that he was um, um, seeing things. So, uh, yeah, Flex has an expensive taste. <laughs> apparently, what is he saying? That like it's a seed amount for a case or something like this? He said it was nearly $200 for a 30 pack. Oh, geez. Well, I guess that's 30. Yeah, that's I, I have, I've been looking for an alcohol content amount, it feels like 100%, but I haven't seen anything. It just says 12 fluid ounces, yeah, age as well. I think the 120 minute IPA is, is your indication. Mm. But wow! Well, I guess you're gonna have to drink five today, Sorg, in celebration <laughs> of the last show of the year and the last show in your house. That's right. Well, no, well, actually, um, unfortunately, we are going to be in 2017 here in this space. Oh, really? But uh, as of tomorrow, I'm going to start tearing cords out of here. We're going to be relocating um, things in here. There's Thank stuff. You. I mean, this has been. I mean, we've been running with this setup and kind of adapting to it for the last maybe five years down here. Mm-hmm. I don't know how many cords are actually functional down there anymore <laughs> so we're gonna tear everything out there's some it weird noises like it's just your <laughs> so uh that and, and and we're going to kind of start fresh with things in 2017 uh so that's the idea so so don't burn the house down we still need it Ugh. uh because some other things didn't work out that's the whole reason why i came i know i know Ugh. right I, i'm sorry stuff. i'm sorry to i'm sorry to, to we're still missing the rest of our people and we're really they really are taking their good point. old time yeah, so um, whatever gift they have, it must be worthwhile. Yeah, exactly. And heavy. Well, let's let's in the meantime, let's get to know you guys more than we did last year. I was gonna mm-hmm. say we didn't get very well into knowing that. No, no, yeah, I mean, there was there's other no. things that were going on. So no. I, I don't think I asked one of our typical starter questions last year, but 
how did you guys get into pro wrestling? Not like how did you get into becoming pro wrestlers, but what is your earliest memory of pro wrestling that really kind of hooked you, you know, younger, older, you know, whenever that was? Um, I've watched it ever since I was out of the womb. I, I have no memory of not watching wrestling. Mm -hmm. Um, Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels, I guess, are my earliest memories. And uh, Diesel beating Bob Backlund for the title in 10 seconds or whatever. And uh, drawing pictures, uh, drawing shitty pictures of him as a six year old. Uh, Wait, of Diesel or Bob of, Backlund? Of Diesel, <laughs> like with the title and stuff that looked terrible. And. Uh, buying the Bret Hart glasses and everything. But uh, ever since I was a child, I wanted to be a pro wrestler, and uh, I didn't think it would come true. And then I found a time machine, and it changed <laughs> my life forever. But uh, I've been a fan forever, and it's been the one thing that has stuck with me my whole life. And I've been a wrestler for six years now. So Wow, that's awesome. It goes fast. That's awesome. It certainly does. What about you, Lee uh, Ryan's? Um, wow, when I when I grew up, I like I loved wrestling. I was a big Attitude Era kid. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely loved it. I remember there was this kid I grew up with. His name was Jake Riggle, and me and him would always wrestle in the front yards. Get my parents to yell at me. I remember the first time I ever executed a pedigree on him. I closed uh, my legs and put his head underneath my knee and pounded his face into the ground. Cool. And it was a bloody ex experiment. And I learned that you know, <laughs> see, see these, for me, there, there's a trick to what these guys do without hurting each other. Right, right, right. <laughs> like right, right what right. I did, it was not what you planned see, on. Me doing. and my friend back in like elementary school used to put the sharpshooter on each other and trying to Boston figure that crab. out. You know, that yeah. was my favorite single leg Boston crabs. My brother used to put them <laughs> on me. Nah. Um, but yeah, I never like thought of it when I was a kid that I was going to do it at, once I became an adult. And it was um, once I was 23, I was going to college and there was something I wanted to do extracurricular to just keep myself in shape. And I, I was going to school for art at the time, which was a great freaking degree. Yeah, I can really do a whole lot with that, huh? But uh, yeah, and I just wanted to do something extracurricular, something creative. And I, you know, I couldn't play like any contact sports like football anymore. I, mean, I thought, hey, maybe wrestling would be a fun, a fun thing to do. And then, uh, like one week later, after just having that thought process, uh, they said Shawn Michaels was in town for the convention center. This was back in 2013. I went and met Shawn Michaels. The guy I met in line, uh, he was right in front of the line. His name was uh, DJ Ray Keller. It's his Facebook name. He used to be commentary. He said for IWC, he gave me Chuck Roberts' email and Justin Idol's email, and had me contact the school and. Two Tuesdays later, I was at a tryout. I puked my guts out, and I trained for 16 months, and I've been wrestling for three years now. Like, and, and that's the story. And, we, <laughs> and we've heard, heard all the stories about training and everything like that. I, I think it's always interesting because I know – I mean, I, I've tried my hand at it, and I'm like, yep, I'm not I'm not built for this. You know, I tried too old and everything like that. Like, uh, like it, was it was it very surprising, like, like how much went into it? Um, it, it, was, it was a test of uh, – your mental fortitude more than anything, too, because oh, yeah. my class had nine people in it. I'm the only one that exists from it now. So, I mean, that tells you something. I mean, was that, your, it was Idol your trainer. Idol was our trainer for about four months, and then it switched to Chuck uh, Lippert, mm -hmm. uh, Gambino. But uh, yeah, he was an excellent trainer. He trained me up very, very well, and uh, he took me under his wing. And uh, it was me, uh, Vaughn Star, Jay Vaughn. He moved it back to the Amazon. You remember him, Mass Wrestler? I believe so. Yes, uh, and then, uh, Elena. I don't know what happened to her. I don't know what happened to either of them, really. And yeah, I'm the only one that's left from them. It's yeah, a, you, it's a, it's you know a, what happened. I know. I'm just messing with <laughs> Josh. And but um, uh, yeah, it's a it's a big test of mental fortitude though, because a lot of stuff they did at the beginning of training wasn't stuff like wrestling related. It was mm -hmm. running ropes, you know, taking bumps, continuous bumps, two hours straight of taking bumps and then running ropes and then doing it until you vomit and like i remember wheelbarrow push-ups 10 push-ups touch the turnbuckle 10 times wheelbarrow to the next set 10 push-ups 10 taps on the that was just during the tryout and i remember i was tr a tryout with a guy named josh and he didn't make it past like the three month mark and three months is like right when the stuff got fun because it was all chain and learning how to position yourself in the ring and grappling and just simple stuff and and once it, like three months that's when you started doing impact moves and started doing the fun stuff and Mm -hmm. That's when a lot more people dropped out too, because some of the moves, I guess, I guess hurt them. You know, I remember German suplex day. I'll never forget it. <laughs> I'll never forget it. <laughs> uh, what about you, Corey? I mean, I mean, you're uh, you're 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 definitely a guy of a smaller stature, right? Um, so I mean, hey, we had to be a little difficult to kind of hang hang in that, right? Well, I got trained 
I got trained with uh, Steel Town Taylor. I don't know if you remember him at no, all. No, you don't remember him. No, the MMA guy, uh, Jason Taylor. No, you got to remember him. Wait, was he like <laughs> from so IWC? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, so you I don't know. Is here. he is he pre two thousand six? That's when I started going. He was like, no, he started like the same time as me. He was like an MMA guy, Jason Taylor, like uh, shaved head. Wait, wait, wait! Didn't he go by something else though? I yeah. th- he had a chain they came out with or yeah. something, right? Yeah, I remember. I remember that guy, but I don't think that's his. Was that his name? Yeah, Steel Town Jason Taylor. I don't remember. Okay, okay, but I know who you're talking about. Okay, okay, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, well, point I'm getting at is pretty much I just got beat up by him the whole time I was training, <laughs> and I, training is really hard. But <laughs> as as long as you're not a bitch, you can survive. <laughs> it. And, so, wait, wait, wait. So, so if you have any advice for for new trainees from pro wrestling. That would be, don't be a bitch, right? <laughs> it would be, don't be a bitch, and if you're one of these weirdos who is just doing it for <laughs> a no, new activity to do, good. do not get into wrestling if you want it to be a new activity. You should only do it if you love wrestling, because you will quit and realize he, it's, he's so dead it's too much, but... If you love wrestling, you will put up with that, it. And that's you'll get that's, that's it. a Chuck Roberts speech and a half because I remember <laughs> when I no seriously when I did my tryout, yeah, literally I I did it until I vomited and that that was literally the stopping point. I was I, like they said get out of the ring before you puke in the ring. So I got out the ring, I swallowed a garbage can, and literally that was the same speech that Chuck Roberts gave me. He's like, you better not be doing this, you know, this ain't no prissy fun happy go hobby time. You know, you either do this if you want to do this, you got to love this to do this, or you ain't gonna last. And it was mm-hmm. the, I mean. Granted, your speech was a little bit more um, brash than his, but it was the same purpose. It, it, your body so hurt, true. hurts a lot when you're going through the training because people don't realize they think those ropes are like bouncy ropes or something. Oh, yeah, but your whole your, side gets bruised up. Your back will hurt from them and just from getting slammed on the mat and not being used to it. And yeah. You'll be hurting a lot the next <laughs> day. And then they make you do uh, uh, Hindu squats, and by the time you're – at the end of training, you're up to almost 500, yeah, 500 Hindu squats, squats every practice. in under like 15 yeah, minutes butts. or something like that. Every time I flash back, that I, I, I tried to play hand at uh, amateur wrestling in, in well, elementary when they started, yeah, like fourth grade. I remember mm-hmm. grass drills, right? Yeah. Run, 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 drop, right? Mm-hmm. And I remember that was just complete death back then. And of course, I did not stick with that. It was just uh, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't I made for it. You weren't dedicated, Sorg. No, I wasn't. No, I was not. <laughs> I went on other things, tough, though. like podcasting. You could have been the next Kurt Angle, sword. I could have, <laughs> <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, no, that's great. That's great. I mean, you guys have, uh, uh, of course, uh, been involved in, in a lot of uh, really interesting things. Uh, it's STDs. You know, we 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 talked about that last year, and uh, but uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, well, so you guys, you guys have been around a lot of different things. One of the things that sticks out to me. I was editing. I was not uh, in 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 attendance at Wipeout, mm-hmm. but uh, you guys played the lifeguards. Oh yeah, for the main event. Yes, like for 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 you know not your typical pro wrestlers. Mm-hmm. You guys get involved in a lot in IWC, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, even Chess Flex were involved with the Million Dollar Man the one year. One of my favorite moments uh, uh, filming uh, IWC. Um, but but so so you guys got kicked out of the ring mm-hmm. and came back as the lifeguards. Yeah, I loved it. And what well, Corey, didn't you come back like in the lifeguard gear like the next month or something? Yes, yeah, sure. uh, you I kind of <laughs> liked the outfit. Yeah, so I <laughs> they were comfortable. The they outfit, they were very yeah. comfortable swim trunks that we had. It exposed my groin area in a flattering <laughs> way, so I did that for the ladies. Mm-hmm. Very wise. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Yeah, but when we uh, filmed that promo for the wipeout, the uh, uh, take it to the danger zone thing that we did. <laughs> so good. The thing with Jimmy DeMarco, right? I did not yeah, 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 know that Jimmy DeMarco was going to go up the street of my hill of my <laughs> shooting fireworks out of the roof when he roof was shooting car. Roman candles, and one of the Roman candles ended up hitting one of my neighbors' uh, houses, <laughs> and luckily the cops did not get called. But that was about. Probably only like two or three months after I moved into my new home. So <laughs> Hi, neighbors. That was not We're a crazy. good way to 
So after that, I think I just made him park up at the park up the road, and I just acted like I didn't even know Jimmy or anything. I think I just brought his <laughs> stuff up to the park situation. and just acted like, who was that guy? I don't that's know crazy, him. crazy, bald-headed, muscle-headed. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, a, that's the thing. Like, like There's a, what's happening in the ring and everything like that, but you guys, uh, of course, uh, you know, the, the danger of the wrestling promo shoot <laughs> is is something that I think somebody doesn't don't, doesn't that doesn't realize out yeah. there. I hope the fans appreciate our premise, as there is a lot of danger that gets put into some of the premise that we do. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Where the hell is Chess Flex? <laughs> I hear I hear tape wrapping outside. You hear tape yeah. wrapping I outside. Like I hear excessive soon. amounts of tape wrapping. I'm talking full on body suits it sounds like i have tape. headphones on so i have no it idea it doesn't sound like scotch tape either it sounds like packing tape packing tape yeah it could be oh, a body geez. it could be a human being what do you guys think the last iwc show <laughs> mm-hmm. uh it was interesting it wasn't bad oh wait we got some good. stuff going Whoa, on what here are we, not going on we here? are mid-show here on the indie mayhem show chess flex where has just re-entered the studio um yeah that's there you go there you go uh <laughs> chess flexor joining us i have gifts you have you gifts know, um the one it was too big to wrap and put in the car without it getting damaged on the way it's it means a lot to me this gift and i'm giving it to you so i had help i'm gonna need help carrying it in it's it's awkward it's fragile i will help can you help i will help right now how's that how's that drink uh uh, it's doing pretty good. Uh, uh, it's uh, I tweeted my friend who has a certain viral video that came out with this stuff. Dogfish at one twenty minute. Uh, some really good people. I think we've had them sponsor a couple podcast Pittsburghs in the past. Okay, uh, take a big swig. For take us. a big swig for you. You know, um, hold on. I'm oh, he's he's walking away from the mic, so yeah, I don't we'll know. We'll be back. We'll be back. We're getting that. We're getting the gift. Don't gift. worry, I'll hold it down with sword gear. It, all right, just uh, me. And Corey Futurista. So how about that? Chris Jericho showing up <laughs> to the next, to the last Yes, show. unfortunately, I'm, no one will ever see the footage. I'm just hanging out uh, backstage, and I hear a knock on the garage door to the backstage, and uh, it's uh, Chris Jericho. And uh, I think uh, Shane in your face uh, even said to him, like, uh, you want me to get plumber? He said, "What? Like, why? Why would I want you to get a plumber? Like, he he like thought he was talking about an actual plumber. <laughs> and, uh, he didn't know what he was talking about. But yeah, it was really random because Chris Jericho is like my favorite wrestler, and that was yeah shocking yeah. that he I feel came like there. I feel like Chris Jericho doesn't get to like just walk into a lot of indie shows. Yeah, like despite uh-huh. you know." Mm-hmm. Like I, I just feel like 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 that th- that's not a thing that typically happens. Obviously, mm-hmm. for how much it got all over the internet. For those who don't know, uh, IWC is winner takes all. Uh, he was there in attendance. He was the special guest uh, surprise to everybody. Even Chris Russo did not know he was coming out for the match. Yeah, mm-hmm. as guest ring announcer for uh, Chris Russo and uh, Sam Adonis. Sam Elias. I don't think anybody knew besides Sam Adonis, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, probably, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, it uh, it was a pretty cool moment. I, I know it's I, fine. I it's fine. Everything's fine. something's happening. Yeah, something's yeah, happening right fine. now. I, I swear, if they 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 if they kidnapped Chris Chris Very Jericho. Uh oh. Oh, what's happening over there? Don't quit! Don't damage the merchandise. Come on. Come on. Oh, jeez. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why well, do I, I don't, feel like Brian is going to be wrapped in? A bunch of stuff here. There's a lot of noise. Hug him. Hug him. I don't. I don't know what's happening. I don't. Do, I have no clue. I, said it was a, it was I have no something part of this. Big. Flexer came on his own. I have no clue what this surprise is going to be. What surprise? I don't. I don't know what's happening fine. right now. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. What's happening over there? What is? What that? is happening? I, I I can't see. I have a monitor in my it way, looks, so I don't know exactly what's going on. It seriously uh, looks but, like there's a dead body on the ground, wrapped in Christmas presents. What? What is? What? Yeah, there is a dead body wrapped in Christmas gifts. You didn't kidnap Plumber, did you? I don't. I. This is happening. Um. 
Merry Christmas! What a wonderful gift. What is this? It's what is happening you. right now? I'm it's your Christmas gift. I'm taking a picture. Um, so, 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 so what? So, did I. I move this, move this, Michael. Uh, Just carefully pick it up. No, that way, that way. That's out. That's out of the way. Right. All right, all right. I, I don't. You guys kidnapped a young boy. Very, I have no part of this whatsoever. I don't know if I'm ready to unwrap that. Uh, live on the internet, there. I. There you go. There you go. Come on, Brick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, we got. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. I see some hair. I see some hair. There you go. Uh, there you all go. right. So, come open your gift. Hi. Come. Huh. Come. All right. So, I'm worried so about the skin that I So, there is some man slash boy wrapped in gift wrapper. All right, uh, we, uh, it's a we, present so, for sword. This is very interesting. I, it's breathing, whatever it is, so it's not dead. Well, I hope, it, I hope it's not, not breathing, so, uh, so, hold on a second. It took a lot to get this here, because I feel like I just got the cover art here. I would think the only person that I know who is weird enough to do this is Ferrari, but I don't think Ferrari <laughs> is that hairless, so I don't, I don't think it is Ferrari. I'm afraid to touch it. Come on, it's okay. Is that princess wrapping paper? It's okay, it's fine. Wait, wait, it's like it's Batman okay. and Spider-Man. Like, I'm worried about... Just grab the, just grab the just paper. Grab the just paper. grab the paper. Grab the paper. <laughs> it's Ferrari! Oh, Ferrari! Get the legs, here. Oh, you got the... Oh, oh, Ferrari! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Oh, Ferrari for Christmas. You haven't been on this yeah. show for like eight years! I got you a Ferrari yeah. for Christmas! Where have you been? Yeah. Why does he smell? Oh, yeah. well, un untime, sword. Come on, stop tinsel. being unpolite. I didn't know tinsel was so strong. That's. Are you? Are you okay? Are you okay? Is this missile? I'm not. I'm not kissing. You under have to the kiss. Mistletoe. You have to I'm kiss the mistletoe. Has mistletoe in a very awkward spot. Kiss it. Uh, place your eight. lips upon it. So this is crazy. This is um. Ferrari, I assumed you were hairier than that. I didn't realize that you have the hair of a young boy. You all right? All right. Last time I saw you, you were in a battle royal. How did I get here? Do you remember anything after the battle royal last week? No? No? Does your girlfriend know that you do stuff like this in your free time? I didn't do anything. They just say you want to hang out? I say, yeah, I'll hang out. Gets them every time. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Um, well, uh, you got candy can in your crotch, by the way. Uh, I'm Ferrari. Well, welcome to the Indie Mayhem Show. I can't uh, believe it. Welcome. The Christmas special. Welcome to the Christmas you special. You were in the Royal Rumble. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> um, have some uh, cookies and cream pocky from Thailand. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry if it's cold in here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Pump Ferrari. Punk Ferrari. Holy crap. This is unbelievable. Hey, Ryan's, please have a seat. I guess I will. We uh, need to redo all the microphones I destroyed the setup. That's there. all right. That's we all right. have more gifts. We have more gifts. We're okay. Don't worry. Punk okay. Ferrari. This what did is you for do you? with my clothes? This is amazing. I'm in disbelief. All I hear is static. We're on the rumble, and I got punched in the face so many times, I thought it was a bad memory, but it was real. Horrible. Horrible. Here you are. You're all right, Ferrari. It's unbelievable. Do you know where you are? Are we getting any of this on? Any of this on? He must have. Oh. Did you do something? You just asked him to hang out. Is the orange thing? I almost chipped on that. It's really good. You should try some of those if you're hungry. You might have not fed you for the last couple of days, depending on the. There's no audio at all. Yeah, there's audio. Yeah, there's audio. There's audio. I have. Um, so uh, the uh, chest. Yeah. You are in the seat. Well, there's, please. there's no other seat. Well, yeah, that's fine. Uh, you, you please. Pump uh, Ferrari, uh, well, your Christmas gift. Would you like to interview Pump Ferrari? So does Ferrari belong to Sword now? Is that what you're saying, Fluxer? Well, yeah, for Christmas. Okay. It's are Christmas you okay with that, Ferrari? Yes. It's a great no. gift. 
I would love a Ferrari for Christmas. Who wouldn't love a Ferrari for Christmas? Don't be an Indian giver, Ferrari. You can't give back You're a present. A it's a Native American here. giver. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. This is Pittsburgh. We're more progressive. We're a blue city. You need my scarf? We're a blue city. Where are my clothes I at? I probably became red at the... Uh, that doesn't matter. That's the rest of the state. Trump won the Electoral College, so accept it. I need to... Uh, I have more gifts, by the way. What? Middle seat. Okay. I'm just I'm just directing a you more down more your sword. Do you have to go get more? Well if they're they're do I need more seats for the rest of your gift? Um I don't know why you why you move me. Maybe you just want to see closer to the mic. Yeah. 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 Um, well, the pump Ferrari, uh, 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 Ryan's. Can you can you just kind of adjust that 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 cord there a little this, bit? This Hold on. Cord right here? Hold on. Adjust it again, please. No, no, no. On the microphone. Gary's drunk. It's so. getting a little weird. We got to bump a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold on. What? No. Hold on. Oh, no, that's not right. That's only the first present too. Flexor has more presents. Hold on, let me there you go. You're good. You're good. You're good. Is Just good don't touch working? that. Don't touch the mic again. Don't touch the mic ever again. <laughs> ever again. Okay. Don't touch it ever again. Uh, Pump Ferrari. Uh, what are we doing gifts? Oh, are we still doing gifts? I, I thought you needed me to buy more uh, time. Thank okay. You so much. All right. All right. We got hey, gifts going on. Chess Fleck or Corey oh Futuristic. God. Hold on, Corey. What do you got oh, over there? Chess Some weird house. Thing. The house thing. These house. This is gingerbread house. There you go. There you go. Adorable. Hold on, over to. We got over there. Luxor's always so nice when the cameras are on. How adorable this thing is! There you go. Oh, it looks ridiculous, but it's adorable nonetheless. There we go. I got it on now. You guys have been handed stockings here. If you're on audio, Ooh. there you go. A gun to shoot things there like a, a play gun. I wonder what I should do with that. Oh, you Ooh. should open it. Obviously. Is this a chocolate house? Oh. Damn! I wanted chocolate antlers. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice Where friend you that just these large candy canes. <laughs> That's hilarious. This shooter's amazing. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Some stupid <laughs> snowman thing. <laughs> oh man. So uh. I'm looking at it individually. And I put it back in. <laughs> This is a dog toy, is it not? It is a dog toy? What kind of dog toy is it? It's a plush, uh, I guess it's a bear. Is it a bear? All right, all right. It's not a dog toy. This is... It's a dog toy. This is a beautiful thing. You put it on the dashboard of your car, Brian. Now, you ungrateful piece of... Kind of like the... Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Where are you hanging from? All right. Oh, what's this? What's this? It looks like... Thank you, Chess Flexor has given me a stocking. What's this? That's I don't to know. Protect what you whenever they start shooting their guns. Or they start shooting my gun, their guns at me? Oh sweet. Uh, yeah, I didn't even All right, think I'm gonna about put my helmet on. Ah, it's not. My head's not big enough. All right. All right. Mostly protected. Mostly protected here. Uh Whoop. Oh, that's not gonna work. There we go. Got the headphones on. Can you Does this me? work for me? Yeah. Is this is this me? Is it my color? This is the this is the new me. All right, we got a I got a, a, a Finding Dory. I haven't seen the movie yet. Is that okay? Spoilers. Spoilers. Candy cane. Did they? It's a candy cane. Is there spoilers on this candy cane? We're Finding Dory. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. I saw. By the way, uh, from last year, I have not found. I have not seen Frozen yet. He gives yeah, it. yeah. All right, all right, you know right. what? Frozen's I left my overrated. card here last year, Sorg. Where's it at? You left your what? My Christmas card. Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on. All right, we got some. Uh, got a. Uh, what is this? <clears throat> what is this? <laughs> it's not a lollipop. It's like a marshmallow thing, right? <laughs> Hold on. What, what's going on? Marshmallow pop. It's not. Oh, there it is. It says right it's there. A marshmallow pop. Oh well, let me take another swig. This one. This one. This one. All right, there's more. There's more. There's a snap and share uh, double crisp something something. <laughs> well, you can share it. You can hey, snap it. 
And sure. Okay. All right. Oh, and there's more. There's more in here. It's heavy. It's heavy. What? Is that an incredible Hulk plane? You know what that's for? What's that for? Whenever you know you're you're in the army now. You got your army helmet. Yeah. You send the uh, dive bombers out when they start shooting you. Okay. Is this one of those things where I uh? Hold on a second. Oh, oh, that's the wrong button. That's that's not good. That's not good. Hold on a second. Here we go. Here we go. It's this one, right? Yeah, there we go. Uh, whoop. That's yep. gross. Well, there bad. you go. Whoa. <laughs> Coming back at Something's you. happened over there. Whoa. Ah. <laughs> all right. All right. So, uh, oh, there's more stuff in here. There's more stuff in this. It's really heavy in that bottle. You need a What's drink. This? Drink more, sir. Sword. Spider-Man chocolate candy. It looks like cool. He's going to shoot the web. <laughs> a lot of edible things this year. Especially I've noticed. Like this last thing. This last thing. Is this the last thing? Still edible. <laughs> is that a... Is that a That's half, a creepy doll. Is that a half black, half white baby? That's a half an <laughs> What? Whoa, we got a little ping pong on this show here. It doesn't look white. It I don't doesn't know look what black. Gonna... So. <laughs> All right, that, you call it a little ping pong? It's a little ping pong. No, no, that that, that kind of ping pong. Is ping pong like a Korean stepchild? No, or more or like, like a Thailand thing. Oh, I know all about the ping pong show. So, Chess Flexor, you didn't find a microphone over here uh, somewhere. You're going to use mine? All right, pull up. What was that? What was that? Hold on, I need the plane. Where'd the plane go? All I have is chocolate. I don't want to float chocolate at people. No ping pong at people. No ping pong. <laughs> no, I've never seen ping pong the same way again. Um, um, I need a seat. I need, I need a mic. There should be a floating chair right over right there by the right Instagram thing. There's a seat. Hopefully everybody can hear us you okay. See. I think you're, you're where it cuts off. You're gonna have to get. There's a folding chair over there by the by the yeah. door that's not attached to anything. You're gonna have to get um, in between Ferrari and Gary. Yeah. So, or you want to if you want to want to smooth do a squeeze in there. Um, wait a minute. You're There's more. Wait a minute. What? More gifts. There's more gifts. Of you brought me a person. Chess Flexor, the billion dollar man. That is what true. That is true. Absolutely. This is a billion dollar man. I have this fancy hat. Now, this one. Now, I, I told you. you well, th that gift was, was fragile. The yeah, yeah, was fragile. This year. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Wait, are you watching this show? The bowler is so <laughs> unprofessional. He, he pulls up the feed as he's on <laughs> the show. The the I'm just bowler. checking to make sure that I you're live, so I'm just turn down the radio. I'm just checking for you. That's all. This, this, you need Helping to be out. Very careful opening this. Hey, be out. very careful opening that. For delay. For for what? For delay. Delay. Very. Listen. What? What? Whoa! Very, I didn't even mean to do that. Very, very careful. Like listen, we'll break. Listen. Listen. Very. Yeah, I'm listening. Be very. Be very. Careful opening this. Okay. All right. Oh, that. this is your last warning. Be very careful opening this. Hold Anything on. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Yes. That's what you need to do before opening this gift. Do you feel awkward? Very oh, careful. Are, are you guys sure that you closed the door no. properly oh, when you brought in the Ferrari present? Because it's getting very, very it's chilly a in here. Pink bag. Very careful. Like really chilly. You very know, careful. I, tell you very careful. I don't know. Be very careful. I'm not cool. All right, we're trying this. I'm not feel sick. Yeah, there's definitely a big breeze in there. All right, this better not be lingerie. Careful, careful. No, careful. Watch what you're doing. Watch what you're doing. Watch what you're doing. You're gonna careful, explode. Sir. Don't. Although, you know what? A... An apple. You're warm in the apple. It's very green. What? That's it. That's all that was in there. What? <laughs> Son of a bitch. What? 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 <laughs> Hold on. Wait. What are you doing? Careful with the equipment. He's, he's squeezing the apple. Well, wait a minute. What? AIDS. AIDS is in the what apple. What are you doing? I stuck a razor blade in this apple. Oh. Oh, they there, 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 
Apples with razor blades. There is a slit in there. And I was gonna give it to you for Christmas, but now I don't. Know. Is that the joke? Is the it's not a joke. It's serious. It's the razor. Uh, it's, it's very serious. I, I hope I don't find this tomorrow when I sober up and try to eat it. Yeah, flex. Is the door closed back there? Because no, door's wide open. Uh, wide okay. open. We have a cat. <laughs> that's okay he's afraid of the outside um right um, so that 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 yep, failed uh sorry about that what's your cat's name i am a cat uh, connoisseur samson he's kind of a dick samson. so you like cats i have all, some cats if you all cats, cats are dicks well, that's true this is but true they're smarter than dogs though well uh well the gang's all here plus one uh, Ferrari kind of is like the honorary oh, yeah. member of the STDs. He's been included in a lot of it. I mean, you gotta say, Pump, you haven't been here since like the uh, the, the, the the infamous Pump Juice I just of Pump like, Juice. You just <laughs> is that like Ferrari's jizz or something? Um, I think that was the the suggestion there. Yeah. Was um yeah. here here. What did the razor fall out? All right. Oh, I remember razor blades from Thailand. Right. What did you do with razor blades in Thailand? I didn't do them, but I witnessed some interesting um, talents based on razor blades in Thailand. All right, I definitely won't eat that tomorrow. That's a real razor blade, isn't it? Where do you where do you just get a real razor? Like, wait, it's like do you shave with this? Is this used? I lost my electric razor last year whenever we were shaving my ass. So I needed to get. By the way, did not realize that happened until I watched that today. <laughs> I didn't realize that I have a video, or I didn't. I didn't realize that I have a remember second that, video remember of your ass on the internet. Gary doesn't remember it. Everybody that didn't see it, tune in uh, and watch last. Can we year's make a three? I don't even know what episode this is. Uh, it, oh, jeez, where was that? This thing keeps on going off. Core futuristic. No guns in the future. There are many guns. There are many guns in the future. Do they shoot bullets or something different? Uh, they shoot jizz. Oh, shit. Let me do a quick pause. A quick pause? Okay. For Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. What? The world Traveler went to Thailand. Rep. He's, he's all, just like Pump Ferrari, he's been kidnapped. He belongs to Andrew Palace. Can everyone what? hear me okay? Yeah, I, th I think so. Rest in peace, Ricky the Dragon I can't Steamboat. tell because of this hat, but I, I'm pretty sure. What year does he I, I don't know, get close to a microphone. He is dying as we speak. He was playing basketball with his son. Is this better? Yeah, it's better. And, and he had a heart had, attack. Yes. With Alan Thicke. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Palace, if you want Ricky the Dragon Steamboat back, we can negotiate. I need a helicopter and $3 million. Andrew Palace has enough toys. He doesn't need that. <laughs> Andrew Palace uh, wrestled me for that at Clearfield. Did you win? I did not win, obviously. I... Hold on, we got, we got, I, I turned you down. I Why did you turn me down? Because you still got fuzziness. Can you check that cord again? Make sure it's tight. Make sure it's tight. Tight the cord. Make sure it's tight. Yeah? Hold on. There's still fuzz. Oh, fuzz yeah. Energy. No fuzz. Don't touch it again. Don't fuzz? Don't fuzz. There you go. Lee Ryans. I am happy you unmuted me. Yes. Welcome How dare to, you? Welcome to the Indie Mayhem Show. That is so rude. That is hilarious. Did you get any of my interview earlier? Uh, oh, I definitely got it earlier. It's that was my only it. chance for people to know who it's I am. It's after we had a half-naked president, and that way I screwed it up. Wait, what? So last present, last gift. Last, there's more gifts, you guys. This one, I this still one's have one's your one's gifts from last present. year. You shouldn't be weirded out by a half-naked president. It was really <laughs> awkward when a client present. came in, and that was sitting on my on my table afterwards. But it's been corrected. This is the most meaningful gift. You created this? Okay. I have no idea if they're yeah. coming up on microphone, but okay. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Stuff in your crotch. Here, you go. Tell some people. Listen, I uh, no, took stuff. a lot of time out of my own personal life Those berries. to create this for Sword. Um, Did you paint? Are you a painter? <laughs> Hopefully, you will honor me by hanging That's this awkward. on your wall. Uh -oh. Merry Christmas. What is it? It's hard. Let's see what it is. Don't be rude, sword. All right, don't be rude. Show the rude right. after you open it up. Let's see. 
Uh oh. Nothing on this side. Okay. All right. Well then, flip it over to the other side. All right. All the way. Oh my lord. What? Is it John Wayne? How much wait, money wait, wait, did you that? spend just on this podcast? Merry Christmas, Tess Flexor. Did you make this? Of course. Of course I made that. Yeah? Doesn't it look like my, my uh, style? This is going in the new studio. Front and center. John Wayne. Perfect present. I hear they love John, nice John Wayne in Thailand. Beautiful signature chest. That is nice. I got a chest flex for autograph. You could probably sell this for at least two bucks. Three. Six. Five. I'll buy it for ten. How about you go drink oh. and drive? Huh? Ten? Thirty-five. How about thirty-five? I didn't mean to intrude on your on your stuff chest. Two hundred bud. Two hundred bud? You know I still have Thai bod in my wallet. <laughs> 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 I have nothing else from that. <laughs> so, um... I think that's a very nice gift. I thought nice. it was going to be that's something nice. way weirder than that, but... John it's... Wayne looks very sensual in that picture, too. Sensual? Sensual. That's the word I'm going with. I'm sticking to it. Like, like if you were stuck on an island with him, you'd let him uh, put a finger near your hole? Is that what you're getting at? No, why would you say that? You said he was sensual. Is the green so. mic on? Uh, yeah, the green, green mic's on. on. The green mic. Pump's not using it. Pump's. Would pump's you let John Wayne drink your <laughs> coconut milk? Drink my coconut milk? If you're stuck on an island with him after he, what was it? Stuck his finger in his hole? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. I would let him drink my coconut milk. <laughs> He's probably thirsty. He's John Wayne. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Do you need another one yet? Do I need another one? I'm about done with this. I can finish this off if you'd like me to. I would like you to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Meanwhile, I'm getting text messages from people for business, so this is going to be really interesting can tonight. Can I your phone for a second? You, no, absolutely not. Who I got you touched. this late at night about business? It's like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> pro wrestling. Nobody, le- no, nobody, nobody sleeps in pro wrestling. During the night, at least. Um, all right, uh, uh, Scott Steiner is now friends with uh, Pump Ferrari. Pump Ferrari, I, when is the last time you've been here? 2009. 2000, wait, wait, you remember that? We we need an Indie Mayhem, well, this is your Indie Mayhem show moment. Pump Ferrari, what is your earliest memory of indie wrestling or of professional wrestling? WrestleMania three. WrestleMania three. Yep. Okay. Andre and Hogan. Okay. So pops order it VHS. Nope. Videotaped it illegally. Oh. Hell yeah. Ooh. Good work. Ooh. Awesome. I mean legally. What? I mean legally. 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 Yeah, it used to be so easy back in the day to get those legal boxes. My, I used now to, it's like impossible. My pops used to know a guy that worked at uh, Gomcast at the time. He, come, he came by and he zapped our box. He would literally like take the top off, zap it. It would give us uh, Channel 14, 15, HBO, and Playboy. <laughs> you remember that? Channel 19 used to be Playboy Channel? No, I didn't have cable until 1996. This is, this is not. This is Prime Star, nice baby. Game, so. It was a good time back then. I got cable two weeks before Scott Hall came out on WCW. This is like right around the end of that time. Oh, yeah. Because like, cause like right, right after that, they started getting Dish Satellite and all, that, all the channels. You need to drink more. So <laughs> Okay. All right. I'm almost at the end of this. Why are you pushing him to drink? Wait, uh, why are you bad. such a pusher, You're Chess? You're a bad person. I'm a pusher. I like to push people into drugs. That's what I do. Did you just call him Chess? <laughs> Corey. Corey, flex. There you go. Brian McDowell, you've been quiet. Any bowling tournaments going on around town? <laughs> All the time. Brian has a new Gary, shirt on. Brian the Lion shirt. Brian McDowell, I got some beef with you. Beef? I got some beef with you. Some beef? Okay. We have not had our bowling 
moment yet. Challenge is always open. Yes. This was laid down a long time ago. That's right. This needs to happen. So what? You guys are going to bull each other for what? For, um, for bragging Control rights? the Indie Mayhem show. You're going to teach me how to do that in uh, that amazing towel thing? Yes. I'm jealous of that. I got to say, as a, bull, a former bowler, I'm jealous of the towel thing. Uh, no former. Once a bowler, sore, always a bowler. That's true. That is true. That is true. Rock on my 120 average. It's a nice average. Good to go. I don't go. even know if I can do 120 anymore. I was real terrible when we pulled a couple weeks ago for Why? Flexor's wedding. It's terrible. Hey, Bolt, wait. Flexor, are yeah. you st- are you Snapchatting? That, that, going live. Yeah, You're going live. That, I'm legally Flexor. recording. Are you illegally <laughs> recording Indie Mayhem <laughs> show? I don't think you can do that because we're Creative Commons. Yeah, I think it's everybody. Illegal. It's illegal. Everyone listening should know that Just Flexor now. is right. now a married Tell man. Tell me where my clothes are. Everybody knows. Chess Flexor, can you get on a microphone? You were naked. Chess Flexor has been like like, like like roving around the studio, but not on a microphone for me to ask him questions. Ask Brian McDowell. I avoid all questions. Brian McDowell. Brian McDowell. Questions. Brian McDowell. How was Thailand? <laughs> From what I saw, it looked very fun. There you I'm go. Excited for the DVD. The DVD. Point. Are we doing a DVD of that? Oh. We gotta edit all that. There's a lot of footage to edit. Like that's more than like a winner takes all. There's still a uh, cell phone footage that needs sent. Did you get any? That, oh, hidden, I didn't connect that with you. Oh. Did you get any hidden footage of the ping pong show or anything like that? I wish. It seems pretty serious about the ping pong show. Like that lady that gave us the beers. Like I was really, really concerned with. Where, where's he going? Where's Chess Flexor going? Chess, where are you going, buddy? What was your? favorite part of thailand my favorite part of thailand was the time that we were snorkeling and i had the gopro and the fish were flying or were were, were swimming in front of my face oh that was really cool that, that sounds really cool i found dory hopefully that's in the dvd even just as extra content that will be a very special edition coming to uh indie wrestling dot us Uh, it should be a switch right above you. I don't know what he's doing. He just turned off my porch light. I don't know why. That is strange. I'm not sure what's back there anymore. He said he had to pee. He said he had to pee? That makes sense. But why the light, though? What did you want to see? Oh, it is the one. Bob Ferrari. What is your favorite and least favorite thing about pro wrestling or indie wrestling? Is it being kidnapped? Yeah, that's my least favorite. Okay. What were you doing before you were kidnapped? I don't remember. All he said was, you want to hang out? I says, yeah, I want to hang out. We meet up. Next thing I know. Did he like, club you over the head? Did he roof you? Did he give you the Bill Cosby? I hope not. I'm just puzzled as to why you're here naked as well. He gave you the pudding. <laughs> Chess Flexor is live, doing his own podcast, apparently. His second what? We still have, but Lee Ryans, how do you pop a, um, what is he going to do? What is he going to do? Take a lighter. What's happening? Take a lighter. Hold it firmly against this. You have to have your angle like this. Vertical football. All right. Hold then on. you just got to... Does this work? I got an R-Truth lighter. No. No? No, no. Okay. I don't know. It, it, it only works with the Bic. Try it. No, give him the R-Truth lighter. I, I don't think I can do <laughs> the Bic. I can't, I, don't, I can't create the leverage. Oh, okay. The leverage is in the small lighter. But then you just fucking crank I that. wish I had an R-Truth lighter. That's, that looked hilarious. Dollar General, bitch. That's it. It, it tears up your lighter, though. It potentially could break oh, yeah? it and have so a don't, butane rupture everywhere. But who cares so about that? So don't do it with my lead out lighter, because that is a prized position. Exactly. Exactly. You All don't right. want to ruin a nice R-Truth lighter. No, no, no. Yeah, it I would, mean, R-Truth... Because look at the decal on my end now. Look, it's all shredded. What kind of lighter is that? It's just the Steelers. Steelers? Ah, whatever. But it's pink for breast <laughs> cancer you. awareness. Oh, whatever. Are you worried about breast cancer... Lee Ryan's. I don't know anyone personally affected by breast cancer, but save the save the memories. 
Save, what? <laughs> save the memories? Memories. Are you saying you have breast cancer? Okay. No. No, 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 no. Is it an appreciation for breasticles and their place in life? And Everyone uh, should appreciate them. All right, we're getting off this live feed. That was the illegal stream on the Test Flex or Facebook page. How are you, how are you feeling, sir? Fuzzy. Fuzzy, fuzzy, little bear. What's wrong with my screen? What, what was wrong with the screen? That screen over there? Don't worry about that. Why is that plug even there? How'd that get there? Um, that screen is a bunch of broccoli or is it trees from above? I don't know. Oh, there's something going on there. Don't worry about that. Okay. It's a password. Nope, that's not it. Okay. This is a terrible interview, so we're going to have more on the other side of that arm chair. Any Mayhem show. All right. Uh, I don't know because right I can't remember my password. In water. In a cup. All right. Um, so, Any Mayhem show. Uh, Wheels is probably out there because Wheels is always out there. There's actually three people watching right now. Um, do not drink two of those from Jackie out there. Isn't that the person you went up the seven sp springs with? <laughs> but she likes all your wedding pictures. What? Wedding. Chess, Chess Flexor, come here. Come here. Come here. Go, go get a folding chair. Go get a folding chair. Because I have not interviewed Chess Flexor. Brian McDowell. Brian McDowell. You never yes. asked him the questions you asked me. That's before. right. That's what I'm getting to, Lee Ryan's. Hey. So I'm not gonna fuck up your name anymore. You never. You haven't been uh, two times now. That's right. Well, last year I fucked it up a lot. His name is Remy LeBay. <laughs> Where's the folding chair? No, we had him already. Uh, Brian McDowell. Yes, sir. What is your earliest memory of professional wrestling? Red Hart on Monday Night Raw. Really? Doing what? I think he was wrestling Owen, actually. Owen, okay. On Raw. 94, 95. Okay. Yeah, so it may be, or they were in a segment or something. Could have swore there was a match. It was definitely Brett. And okay. And he's my favorite. Uh, but that just hooked me, and I was a fan ever since. So I was probably like six years old. Six years old? Wow. Probably, yeah. Yeah. At that time, yes. Cool. Cool. And what what made you think uh, about getting into pro wrestling yourself? I just always wanted to do it and try it. And uh, IWC was the first indie company that I went and saw and went to a couple. And once I turned 18, I, I started. So. What was your first IWC, IWC show? That I saw? Yeah. Um, I don't know the name, um, but it was, uh, I think it was Samoa Joe and Raymond Rowe was the main oh, event. Oh, Summer was, Sizzler Checkmate. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it was awesome. It was either that or when Homicide came in. I forget who he wrestled, but my buddy, uh, he loved Homicide, so either that was the first or Rowe and Joe. Yeah, I used to love Homicide, too. Homicide, yeah, Homicide was at the... I wasn't a huge fan, but, I mean, he is... He, he fell off the map. I, I know he's still wrestling, but I don't know what the hell he's doing. Yeah, what hap where is Homicide? And how do you hide a person named Homicide? I think... I think yeah. we need to switch seats. I need, we need to switch seats? Do you know how to switch this? I mean, you could still do it. Alright, alright, I think all right, 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 we need to switch corner. seats. Listen, he's the star of the show. And he hasn't been on camera for the last, like, hour. But I give all the gifts. That's what I do. I give. Hey, I got so many gifts going on here. Well, I love rediscovering those in the morning. I still have it in my hat. Alright. You're drunk, sword. I'm fine. This is exactly why you're not getting a new place to have this new setup. It's because you're a drunk and they didn't give it to you. All right, Chess Flexor, you're in the you're in the hot seat. In the corner. See, now you're ruining Flexor's presence again. You're gonna again. break that picture. Breaking the John Wayne picture. There we go. We got it. We got it. Are you in frame? Am I in frame? You good. I got um, frame in frame. 
<laughs> That's a delay. Don't worry about that. Don't look at people questions. Watching. Look at All that. Right. Uh, Who's a legend? He's a round guy. What? Charles Gloss. Who's that? Is Who's he, that? That person? Uh, He's friend requested me. Oh, yeah? I Yeah. All right. He's a good. He's a good friend of the STDs. Jess Flexor. He likes STDs. What is your earliest memory memory of pro pro wrestling? He's typing. He's typing. What? The terrible typing. interviews, Jeff. He's typing. Why would you be typing instead of just answering? It's Facebook. Plenty? He's getting that Facebook on. I have a question for you. You have a question for me? What do you think? will be your favorite memory from tonight. We'll find that in a year. Probably this. And second question. What was your favorite memory from last year? Now that you've watched it. <laughs> now that you've watched it. Now that I've watched it, I can't say the most surprising memory was the time where you pulled your ass out. Was it exciting? Didn't you tell me that you slept down here that night, too? Like you I like, was down here for like an hour after what you guys left. Uh, I thought you told me that you were down here and you woke up at like noon the next day, like no, on no, your no, desk no, no, or no. something. It was like maybe like 3 a.m. Uh, okay. And it took me probably about a half an hour to get it back up to the... Who was the favorite uh, tourist that we met in Thailand? Oh, what was the... Chim Chum? Chum Chum. Chum Chum. Not, not, not uh, native. Not uh, native tourists. Like oh, the Canadians. Canadians? Like the, the Canadian couple. You didn't like the Canadian broad that was by herself? Ah, oh, she was cool. It was weird that everybody was from Vancouver, though. What's with Vancouver and Thailand? You know? Yeah. But yeah. I say it. I it. No, I learned the secret. I went into the bad cave. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, because you went into, like, this bad cave with, like, this dude... Some chick. Is that that uh, Vancouver chick? Was it? Okay. You learned you learned the back cave secret. Okay. No, I learned the secret in the back cave. Learned the secret in the what's the secret in the back cave? <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. It's just the internet. We're all friends here. <laughs> right. Some not wearing clothes. Sorry, pump. Not by choice. Switchboarding? What? Are we still switchboarding. Are We're doing everything. No, no. This is the part where I give up because I'm too drunk to switch. So I just leave it on all the pictures. This is a wise decision. Yes. I so, learned that um, last year. Tell us what happened when you tried to swing on a vine like a monkey. Yeah, yeah, no. It didn't work out. Did you try actually to do that? I tried. In Thailand, did it work? No. Did the vine break? No. Did you break? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> what is John Wayne's worst movie, Sorg? I don't remember any of his John Wayne fucking sucks. I hate <laughs> hey there, partner. Don't talk shit on the Whoa. John Wayne. I hate John Wayne. <laughs> I, can't, is, I can't name insane. one good thing. The about best part about John Wayne is the John Wayne movie deaths when they get shot. And they're just like. But nobody that watches this is gonna remember any John Wayne movies. Yeah, nobody cares. <laughs> if you could either, that's rude. You are rude. In the future, nobody cares about John Wayne. <laughs> He used to be a president. Isn't he? When? Wasn't he just president? Are you thinking of Reagan? No. Was... Reagan did Westerns. Maybe I am. With the monkey, right? Probably. That time. <laughs> you gave me this evil girl. girl. Like, don't <laughs> disrespect John Wayne or Ronald Reagan. Never. <laughs> I've never seen a Ronald Reagan movie. Have you seen a Ronald Reagan movie? Your mouth is sounds really dry. You need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Chess Black Sword. I have a question for Sword. All right. What was your favorite moment in IWC in 2016? In 2016? Yeah, Sword. Quit stalling. You see, you've seen every <laughs> single moment. You got you've three seen every viewers moment. and what you're going to lose favorite? them unless what you what made made you now. What made you pop on the inside? What made your little kid? Oh, Jericho. Jericho? Yeah. Now, was it like... Yeah, I can understand that. <laughs> I could. I could. How about second favorite? Because that's kind of like... It, it beats everything. Yeah, it Gary, does. Gary Larry know. Lee was marking out back Oh, I marked out hard, and I embraced it, too. I even told him, I was like, listen, I'm marking out. A lot of people are going to follow me, because I'm just going to start now. Picture? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was one of the only few who... Uh, did not get a picture with See, him. See, I did that with Ric Flair, and I regretted it. I hated it. I was like, Ric Flair? Ric Flair? I it was nice meeting you, Ric Flair. Handshake? See you I later, I, alligator. 
my favorite memory from IWC is a time that Ric Flair sat his bags down, shook my hand, shook Fleck's hand, and said, Ric Flair, nice to meet you. When did this happen? Uh, that time, uh, a new beginning woo was the show. It was a January show. This had to have been, oh. like... It was Norm Connors' era. I was going to say, because I started training in 2013. This never happened post-2013. That was, like, 2010? My. So, Ric Flair was in the IWC ring. I never knew this. John Wayne was a yeah. special guest rap. My favorite memory of Ric Flair was whenever Chess Flexer gave the secret Chess Flexer handshake. Oh, yes, in <laughs> Williamsport. That was it the best. People's hands. That was the best. Tickled him. Well, Chess Flexer likes to shake people's hands, and then he likes to itch the inside of their hand while he's doing it. Well, he did this to Ric Flair, the greatest wrestler of all time, besides Pretty Corey Futuristic. And Ric Flair says, what the hell are you doing MF or something like that. He says, "Don't you ever do that, or I'll beat the shit." The, the, the best, the like best was is he was going around a, ran, a round of like six or seven guys' handshakes. He was something like, handshake, like that. He, handshake, 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 handshake. He got handshake. really angry. I just remember he looked right past Chess Flexer, and then he Chess Flexer <laughs> continued to do the itch, and he looked right back at Chess like he said, "Don't ever do that again." <laughs> he That's was very said. angry. <laughs> what did you say? I can't say. It. Yeah, he he said, said something pretty moment, crazy. Chess Flexer. One of my favorite moments was uh, when we, me and Flexer tag teamed with Virgil. That was really cool. Don't talk about Virgil Wait, in front what? of Corey. You, know, that that? Yeah, you was, guys tag team with Virgil behind my back? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you what? Just said that? Virgil became a member of the SCDs. Just what? Honorary one night. What? Uh, Honorary one night. <laughs> It was a great time. See, I tagged him in, and he... Uh, this is why I'm talking to my new friend, and you guys are acting like you can't even see him or anything. He doesn't exist, You guys Corey. are doing stuff he like this. He doesn't exist. Oh, my God. This is so stupid. Don't you throw that at Pump. He's my friend, and I've gotten to know him since he sat next to me. He was getting excited sitting next to you. I wanted him to cover up his junk. Why? So he shows his junk even more. It's not the worst thing I've seen down here. You made What's my hat go all tilted just here? now. Well, last year, do you remember seeing anything? Yeah, I do remember. Because I can show you. No, 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 no. What are you guys showing over there? I want to see. I guarantee that bastard Virgil is going to be back in a month to reload, and I'm going to kick his ass if he is back. Listen, man, you Virgil. say this now, but you're going to put a sleeper hold even oh, faster, even that. shorter. Nah, first of all, it's not the sleeper hold. Did you even get an offensive move off against Virgil? How much money no, because they didn't even ring record. the bell. <laughs> and he's, he's a cheater. He's a cheater. And then the year well, after that, I faced Jimmy Vegas, so and they yeah, made it true. no DQ halfway through the match because he couldn't beat me fairly. Wait, you and faced he, Jimmy Vegas? Yeah, last year reloaded. Gary Larry, were you there? I yeah, was. I, I don't like to show up to these events a lot because you, you need to be quiet. <laughs> I'm on a stretch of one year straight chest flexor. <laughs> really? Good for you. Mr. Wow. I carry your shirts out continuously I'm sure, I'm for two sure, years. I'm sure I'm sure there's certain people that are disappointed. It must be nice to have a personal shirt carrier. Hey. Everybody's coming out, even it's twenty sixteen, he's he's acceptable, but no, he wants he said he's one year straight. So good for you, Gary Larry Lee. Is there a dissension amongst the sexy talented dudes? Chess Flexer hates on me randomly because he <laughs> loves me so much. Whenever you show up to events. For so it's 12 months of straight love. Okay. Whatever kind of love you want to have. It doesn't matter if it's straight or not. It's acceptable. It's Christmas time. Just love me down. Right now. <laughs> it doesn't feel like Christmas time. Mm -hmm. It not, did last week. I'm it's not no in the longer Christmas a wintry, snowy Christmas. This year. What that is? Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. What? I think that's a year. Okay. All right. Come here. Don't worry about it. He didn't show you a picture of a naked man, did he? Probably showed his <laughs> butthole <laughs> or something. Because that's his forte. Didn't last year. I think you showed up. Uh, Don't touch the microphone, Gary Larry Lee. He told you that. I never touched it. Oh, okay. I'm nowhere near. Ladies and gentlemen. Eight inches away. It's the Indie Man Show. And Time for commercial. No. Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's up in the corner right there. 
Uh, Pump Ferrari. What is the best and worst thing about indie wrestling? Well, the worst part was getting kidnapped. All right. We talked about that. And the best... John Wayne pictures. No, don't let people influence you. I'm let to teach let you. your own How many heart you shine. Ferrari, what do you love? What do you love? The paydays. That's right. The money. The hookers. Being co-holders of the tag team titles. Multiple times. <laughs> Aren't you guys like the tag team carriers? We're the co-holders. Not the holsters. No, we we're the co-holders. We help them. Yeah, but like it wasn't like you guys were the champions. Like you guys held. Yeah, you were this the co-holders of the. There title. is a comment from the Facebook guys. What happened? Somebody cared about what we talked about. Are you there? Are you there? What did they say? Where are the up and coming trainees in the area? They should be ashamed of themselves for not taking notes. <laughs> Who said that? Are you talking about professionalism? Chuck. Roberts? No. <laughs> Lippert? King Frown. I don't know any other Chuck. What, King Frown? Or if futuristic. You can see this. I know you I have be no that. basis on this. What? Where the hell is King Frown? Where is King Frown? Yes. I have no clue who King Frown is. King Frown. That sword. He's in, in the castle. Posing on a rock. Where? What? Where? Most influential. Who was the most influential? In what's that word? Influential. Influential wrestler. I'm not even there, and I knew what you were trying to say. And IWC chess by Ferrari. Bob Ferrari is. Tom Ferrari, who is the most influential wrestler in your career in IWC? Chess Flexer. Thank you. He's back. Lee, Lee Ryans. Marshall Gambino. Brian McDowell. I don't know. I have to think about that. You have 30 seconds. One. We'll come Two, back to you. Corey Futuristic. Three. What, most inspirational? Yes. Influential. In IW. Influential. 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 I don't know. Myself? I don't know. I wouldn't pick anybody. Who gives a shit about anybody in IWC? I'm the only person that matters. This guy. I'm not giving anybody credit. That's a nice back to Brian McDowell. That's a nice Conor McGregor response. I would say response. that the person that helped me the most was DJ Z. But that might be changing up. The question, but that's my answer. Inspirational, Infl inspirational, yes, influential. It He's a great guy. Okay, all right. Then did you? Weren't you in the same training class, Chess Flex, with DJ Z? No. I saw that picture floating around the other day. It was uh, you, David Red. That was that was myself, Jimmy Delicious, and DJ Z were down there to help the other people learn with um, Lowrider. Oh, okay, okay. I yeah, was, I, I just, know I just, why. I was. Chess Flexor. I wasn't sure how that picture originated. Now I know. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I wasn't in that picture, because I think I was straining whenever that picture did happen. So, I asked you guys this question last year. Hey, Ryan's just walking away. He's done with this interview. Just take a shit. What are you doing? I gotta go pee. Just take it any time. You can't be in there. It's out of service. It's, it's out, out of service. service. It's it's outside. Yeah. Yeah, the bushes. Taking a dump now in your it. laundry. Be on the step. Stand at the bottom and try to pee up as high as many steps as you can. I got up to seven. See how high you can get. Okay, okay. And it's not the first. It's not the last. What is the best and worst thing about pro indie wrestling in 2016 for you guys? Uh, <laughs> that's the worst thing. We're booked on every show. Uh, the STDs you guys are everywhere. Are a crucial part of the IWC. We are the comedy of IWC, and lifeguards. We are like the Hall of Famers of IWC comedy. So that's good. Worst part, uh, I don't know. Losing to Lumberjack Larue. I guess that would be the worst part. Oh, we maybe. did lose the Lumberjack Larue. That dude's like 60, isn't he? Uh, we lost to LaRue. That happened at Meadville. 
We were I don't in the, get it. You just need Goldberg. We have one protect for the room. He was in the pre-show in the six-man tag. You remember? Mm -hmm. oh, he Bay bags. bags should be in a lumberjack. He was bags actually very nice there. backstage. I thought he was very respectful. He seems like a cool dude. I just um, don't he, know. That he's he a nice guy. He carries an axe around. It's like a foreign object. It's an international object. It's legal. Who carries an axe? Lumberjacks do. Sorg. Lizzie Borden. Is that that broad thing? That really? She carry an carrying axe? Do you, do you want my jacket? Do you want my hair? scarf? No, no, no. Not the rest I'm cool. You got to be cool. Cool and pumped. Like, I'm cold and I have my jacket on. That's crazy. I don't know that story. <laughs> I don't know that story. Ryan McDowell, what's the best and worst thing about bowling? Uh, I mean, I've never bowled less than a 300, so I can't ever say that I had, like, my worst game. So I can't answer the worst. The best you never is, bowled less uh, than a 300. Just, That's a uh, Guinness World No record. competition. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stick with that. I already asked you this question. <laughs> Tom Ferrari, isn't it true that you are uh, dating a girl right now? Ooh. Are you giving her the pump juice? Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Isn't it Can true it? that isn't it true that she's friends with a famous independent wrestler in the Pittsburgh area? Leave Ferrari alone. <laughs> There's she a remain unnamed. Isn't it true that? Uh, Corey Futuristic showed you a picture of your wedding, and I did uh, do that. And I was not in it. And you said it was because I was busy. It's because you're you're dead by the time. I was saying busy. You didn't have to tell them I was dead. <laughs> Life hard. You have nothing to care about. All right. When are we going skiing? <laughs> I ain't skiing, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's, that's happening. That's how you die, Fluxy. Did I? Skiing. That probably is how we die. <laughs> <laughs> that probably is how we die. You ever see that, 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 that frozen? You ever see that Frozen movie? And I'm not yeah, talking about the Disney movie. I'm talking about the horror it movie come off. where they're like, "Oh, please, let's get one last run in," and then the the lift it gets stopped at the thing, and they're like, "Okay, we're going home for the weekend," and then they just get stuck up there and they die. What are we talking about? The Fletcher. Frozen, the horror movie. I've never seen it. I've never seen the original. Chess Flexor, what is the best and worst thing about Thailand? <laughs> Chinese people. <laughs> I'd imagine reading these boxes. Yeah, have you seen these things? No. I mean, I was just with you and bought from multiple places. The hockey. What's the best and worst thing about Thailand? Um, what's you're talking too low, Flex. I don't even think anything you're saying is gonna get on here. <laughs> what's the best and worst thing about Chess Flex? <laughs> For, according to you. According to me. According to you, what's the best and worst thing about Chess Flex? Or best. Wait, stop. Think about it. Take a drink. Think about it. <laughs> I would say that Flexer is a good friend, but he's a strange motherfucker. <laughs> he bought pump up Reebok Armani's for his wedding. Which the cost? Reebok were pretty they, cool. they costed how much? Chest? Ginger actually. Ginger actually bought me those for Christmas or my birthday. One of those things. Now, are you wearing them right now? Because you should be. No, I'm wearing um, the Reebok uh, Twilight. Let's see him. Put him up to the camera. Yo, you do have some extravagant shoes. That is fancy. That is a nice shoe. Hold that up for me. Let me see that. Really oh, wow. Right there. Aren't you worried about pump getting through security? Um, you wear the pumps in memory of Pump Ferrari? Well, I used to. I was just thinking that. Yeah, he's no, he's back. back. He's back. He's every pump. Every off. pump when you pump that shoe up. Do you think of him? Let's see, pump. Because I would. Ferrari. Do you remember uh, Pump Ferrari and my self's theme song? What? The theme song? Yeah. We had a theme song. When we Jill? sang it when we were here. How many years long, ago? Long ago. It was probably like eight years it was ago. so good. Seven. How long ago? What? Seven years. <laughs> Seven years? Do you remember this, our theme song? 
Do you sure. remember what uh, the tune it goes to? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? That's right. Oh, shit. Quiet this. So you still haven't told me what the, what the, you, what's the best and worst thing about... Well, the best thing was about Thailand for No, me. no, no. About me. What about you? Not Thailand. Are you still talking about Thailand? Okay. Best <laughs> thing about Chess Collector is the gifts. I'm going to figure something to do with this. This is going in a special place. You said it's going to be the first one in your studio in the new house. I was going in the new All studio. Right. Everybody's like, why the fuck do you have John Wayne on your wall? I'll be like, Chess Flexor. I'm not going to say anything else. Well, if they Google it. All right, what's, well, they Google you. What's, what's the worst part? What's so the worst word? thing that comes up when they Google you? Chess Flexor. Uh, depends on if they have their uh, safe search. Search. Yeah, safe yeah. on or off. Here. Do it right now. Google yourself. Yeah, here. Let's see what you get. New tab. New tab. I'm going to Google them. This is an interactive interview. No. Worst thing about Chess Flexor? No. Nope. Muscle. Okay. <laughs> um. You're really stalling here, sword. You gotta like. I'm curious if you're gonna type here. I'm, yeah, here. I'm looking. I'm peeking. You're doing a show now, you know. Am I on the internet right now? Yes. <laughs> this is live. Last year, you can blame it on us lot. for being incoherent. This year, it's all you. A lot of dead air going on here. <laughs> Talk about our, 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 um, our TV series we're going to start filming. Which TV series is that? Virgil. He's going to... It's, it's uh, STD. I've had... <laughs> it's Virgil starring STDs. I did a music video with Virgil this year. Did you? I had to. Virgil's a cool guy. He told me a story about Andre the Giant and his dick. Yeah, I mean, he tells, he tells that story. to everybody. Okay, yeah. has this ever been on the air? Has this had anyone ever I talked? I think about? it's on our release. Um, okay, The Legend of Virgil and his traveling merchandise. Okay, channel. okay, as long as it's like no at indie wrestling that US. <laughs> I think he's so crazy that he claims that his dick is larger than Andre the Giant. He did. Yes, he did he does. say that. Yes, he does. He got very excited when we asked him about his dick. Mm -hmm. It's strange, because Chess Flexer was urging me to ask him about it, and I was really weirded out by that. I was like, dude, I barely know the guy. I'm not going to ask him about his cock. You know, I think he welcomed the, at, the, the question about his cock. <laughs> Chess Flexer took it, he took it. He took that question, and he ran with it. Yeah. He was like, I'm going to ask him then if you don't, and he did. Like, 30 seconds after that. Is that what comes up? Something came up. That's interesting. Do you want me to switch to that? Let's switch to what? Oh, Did you Google Chess Flexor and find a response for it? I don't have that one. Though. I'm going to tell you right now. I've got, um, if you Google Wild Child, you'll find a match with me and Corey Futuristic and Bond Star. I think it's on. It's on the Dead series from, from Five Star, Star Wrestling. It's like the crappiest match. Yeah, it's really It was the one where I hurt my knee. Uh huh. You remember that one? Mm hmm. <laughs> that was a terrible match. <laughs> it was a terrible match. Uh, I'm so sad that that's the one that comes up. <laughs> <laughs> How much five star is out there? Because I thought I was gonna I'm going to tell you right now. There's like a, a solid year of footage that you can find really? on the internet. Yeah, there's because yeah, ran... most of it's gone, but there's a few crappy ones left. And they yeah. st the, the one that's still aired is I'm very proud of. It's our street fight against yeah. the Gambinas and Demarco. Yeah, there is. That was uh, a good. That was a good match. Me, you, and Dravico. I think one. it was supposed to be only one fall, and I think uh, Gary got pinned, and then they were so unprofessional, they just uh, acted like, keep on going or something after after Gary got pinned, and it was the end of the match, and we were like, okay. And oh, I, I injured my knee in the match, actually. I remember I caught Vaughn Stark Yeah, but you still got you to the finish. Oh, yeah, I made it to sure. the finish, because yeah. I remember there was a whole sequence, and I completed catch? the sequence. What's that? Who did you catch? It was uh, Von Star. Was it? You remember that one guy that wrestled for like six shows? No, I don't know. He's from the Amazon. I don't know. But anyway, long story well, short, maybe, I caught him. My knee buckled. Like? What's that? Lizard like? The lizard guy. The lizard yeah, king. The lizard guy. Not Jim Morrison. The so black one. Whenever you search 
Sorg naked. You ain't gonna find no responses. I've already searched it. How's it going? Go like this. Oh my. The lizard man is. Go like this. You're gonna see on on the the right live now. on the Indie Mayhem show. Go like this. Is this Vaughn Star on the Indie Mayhem show? No. Hell yeah, it is. Welcome to the Indie Mayhem Indie show. Mayhem show. Oh, Gary Larry Lee's drunk. I ain't fucking drunk. And he's shoot. He's drunk and he's shooting on him. Yeah, Dravico is on the phone. He said he, he said he'd make. Oh, he's on Facetime. I said that he busted he he my knee. He has a nail in his ass and he wants you to hammer it. Lizard, please. Not too much. Yo, Varshaw, what's up, buddy? What's he doing? Is he not ready for you? How come? No, he's not ready. Never How ready? come whenever you search sword naked, um, this shows up? Are they relatives of mine? Google search sword naked. That's a lot going on. Oh, man. I like this Roddy Piper WWE cup you got here. Yeah. R.I.P. Roddy Piper. They, I met Roddy Piper, Piper too, Christmas, seven months before Christmas he died. Special too. Very sad about that. Was that that Superstar show? Uh-huh. We're on right now. We're and you were there, too. One of my wife's favorite moments. See, one of my one of my least favorite moments was probably the Ultimate Warrior death, man. That was the craziest. That was fucked up. Not only it was fucked up, his promo was fucked up. Yeah. Like, the promo he said on the Monday Night Raw before, like, he died Tuesday the next morning yeah, at 7 a.m. that was really yeah. weird. Yeah, that was the you. weirdest stuff ever. Vaughn Star! Hello! <laughs> What's happening? What are you up, you What's up, Javon? Is he on the video? Hello? Well, that's because oh Vince poisoned him, but that's... Like I can't hear you. What's up, bro? Conspiracy! Dude, I'm going to tell you right now, I can't see your face very well, but you look like... You look like Kimbo Slice right now. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. I can't see you very well. Do you have a big-ass beard? Is that a big beard? Dude, you got a beard growing. You got a big-ass beard now. No, you don't got a beard. Javon! What's up, bro? How you doing, bro? Listen, ma'am. When are you coming back to Pennsylvania? What is going on with this interview? You're a liar. You're an absolute liar. Hold on, bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Put him on the mic. Put him in the You're an absolute liar. Hey, hey, I got a question for you. Turn down for what? What is the best and worst thing about indie wrestling? Terrible question. Best thing about indie wrestling is getting the travel with all the, all your buddies. Um, the worst thing about indie wrestling. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the worst part about it is. What's the shitty part? Tell me. The shittiest part about indie wrestling is no money. Nah. Same thing with podcasting. Same thing with podcasts. What do you mean no money? All us, all us STDs get paid a lot. Yeah, this podcast is obviously making lots of money. When am I coming back? <laughs> when are you coming back? That's what we want to know. There is an invite for you in the cruiserweight division. In the cruiserweight division? What? Because IWC has a cruiserweight title. <laughs> Is this your? Is this your announcing your return right now? It's a return of Vaughn Star. As soon as I get a phone call, Vaughn asked me to come back, I'll be back. <laughs> Vaughn Star. Vaughn Star. Justin Plummer. We're gonna get Vaughn Star coming Vaughn back. Star. Call Listen, him. Vaughn Star. Next Rumble, I'm calling you. You're gonna be one of the men in the 30 men Royal Rumble. Vaughn Star will make his return as soon as I get my phone ring. He has to be Tell Vaughn Star that Wardlow is a champion now. We'll probably flip out. Yeah, yeah, tell, tell Wardlow's champ now. Tell Wardlow's champ. Do you know that Wardlow is the champion of IWC? I heard. So I've heard. I've been, I've been following. Yeah? Ask him what his thoughts are. What do you think about the STDs? The, the change was pretty cool. I love the STDs. Did you, did you, did you see the Aftershock episode with Jimmy DeMarco and the lifeguard gimmick? I didn't get a chance to see. I must have to catch up on it. You're a terrible friend. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good sport, Javon. I love you too, bro. Star, get naked really fast on FaceTime. Hurry up. Hurry up. I will not do that. 
<laughs> Don't listen to Chess. We already got Pump Ferrari and Tinsel right now. Come on, get with it. One, four, what's up there? Hold on. You're going to have to come back, Javon. You live all the way on the other side of the country. Get over here on the East Coast. Why is there porn on my computer? Because I searched sword naked, and that's what popped that up. That is so weird. <laughs> What? <laughs> is, is he drunk? <laughs> I just showed him what was on the computer over here. That's going to be all over my safe search. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Lee Ryans. Okay. Alright, we gotta go. I'll talk to you later. What have you been watching in wrestling these days? I actually, I really enjoy watching a lot of old school stuff. I like uh, <laughs> watching the same answer you gave last year. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's it's it still holds true because there's so much content in okay, WWE what have you Network. Watched? What have you watched? What old school stuff have you watched? Uh, I've I've recapped from years 1991 to 1996. Of what? That's old school. Of what? No, it's not that of old what? school. Yeah. But it was 20 years now. Of what? what it was WCW. I, I was always a big Attitude Era guy, and I watched a lot of WWE. I never what, what gave was WWE WCW or WCW back. the respect. What happened to WCW back then? Stunning it was Steve it, Austin. Let him, let it was stunning Austin. Steve Austin. It was the beginning of NWO. I saw the change. In 91 was the beginning of the That's NWO. Old school. <laughs> Stunning Steve Austin. When was NWO the beginning of the NWO? NWO? What year you was that? You guys are analyzing my words too much. Yes, I am. Take what was happening old in school. 91? What, what year is it now, guys? 2016. <laughs> what does it take to get a classic car? 20 years, okay? Those matches are, are you classic. Telling me my 1996 well, I'm not saying that. We're just asking what was happening. You're yeah. telling me that Stunning Steve Austin was in WCW when the NWO was taking yeah. over? <laughs> <laughs> what was happening in 91? That's all we want to know. Who won the bowling championship this year? <laughs> I did. Because that's what I want to know. Anyone that matters, I did. That's such a good answer. Let's, la Ferrari. let's laugh about it. What are you watching in pro wrestling I these days? I will laugh about it. What was Leroy McGurk doing? <laughs> what was Leroy McGurk doing in WCW in 91? I don't know. It's a name that doesn't spark my memory. Well, it should. Who's Leroy McGurk? Thank you. <laughs> Pump Ferrari. What are you watching in pro wrestling these days? I don't have cable. So nothing. <laughs> Pump Ferrari. What are you bit torrenting on pro wrestling these days? <laughs> 80 stuff. Good answer. Brian McDowell. Uh, just the pay-per-views, really, and that's it. I don't watch all that much wrestling anymore. How'd you like Roadblock? Uh, the tag title match was really good, I thought, and the, and the, and the main event was good. The best it was okay. Corey Futuristic. What wonderful interviewees all these people are. Um, yes, I will give you a good answer. I'm watching all types of wrestling because I love wrestling. I think Monday Night Raw is poop sauce. It bores me to death almost every week. What is good about the show? Um, nothing. I like Neville's, uh, Neville's uh, heel Neville. turn. I like uh, SmackDown is the most entertaining show every week. AJ Styles is great. Everything he does. Uh, NXT is kind of shitty now. Uh, I do not like all the title changes that is happening on a weekly basis now. I would say wrestling as a whole, there's a lot, a lot of talent in WWE, but storyline and feud-wise and shit going on, it is at like an all-time shit low, I would say. They've been, really? an They've been an all time yeah, shit low for three for, years now. For Raw, at least. Raw is pretty unbearable to watch, I would say. Would you like SmackDown? Yeah, I love watching SmackDown. <laughs> Don't cry. Is that Yeah. What is that? <laughs> Mama Jawana! <coughs> That's been there for a while. Flexor only watches himself. He doesn't watch any wrestling. I study my opponents. Just Flexor! Yes, sir. What are you watching in pro wrestling these days? Uh, my opponents, I, I watch what's above me so I can destroy them. <laughs> study them. 
learn their weaknesses, destroy them. Fletcher does not watch wrestling. He probably could name all the champions right now. If you He's ask them. That, that I thought we were going to be having this picture together. No. That's fine, sir. Take us home. for the show. No, wait. We got, we got, I, have to, I have a few more questions. There's more questions? I need to know. What I more questions the people, could there be? The people need to know that we need to get off this porn. What? Why, are you yeah, why porn? is there porn on my computer? Why are you looking at porn, It's my sword? personalized MacBook Pro. So are you. porn. You're supposed to be doing an interview with That's us and you're looking at show. porn? Pose. That's my own show live. I hope we're still live. Video unavailable. We're live. Video unavailable. Oh, crap. Hey, click the X. Click the X. There might be questions in the chat. No, you're up there. You're up there. You're up in the thing. Here, That's I'm the backup of the backup. Look, 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 so I don't here. fuck this look, up. I'm down here. Look, look, it's it. Look, down it's here. Look, it's right there. Yeah, See, yeah. I'm down here. Click I told it. you. Jeez. Who's there? No, we're not talking about him. Charles Gloss wants to know about hottest feud in the area. Diamond Joe Rogers coming to monopolize the area. Yeah, that is the hottest feud. <laughs> Joe Rogers did, and Justin Plummer. Did you see... Uh, uh, freaking Dan, Dan on uh, Facebook gets blown up by that one uh, Saru Saru. I don't know. Saru Saru, the monkey gimmick from Billtown Championship Wrestling. He like called out uh, our photographer Dan, and he fucking he was just blowing him up on Facebook. He's like, "You're a bitch if you ever come around town talk about my girlfriend, I'm gonna murder you." <laughs> type of stuff. I don't know, it was just literally on Facebook two days ago. Oh, like, uh, really? Yeah, yeah. I don't believe in Facebook. What, just two days ago? That it was uh, it was a Chris Harmon post. He was talking about Apex Wrestling, and uh, I actually heard that. Uh, and Daniel Hooven commented on it, and then uh, Daniel Hooven's always like overly sarcastic. He's like, "Where's Joe Rogers? Where's BCW?" He's just joking around, prying him, and like the one guy like must have got really offended. Yeah, it was Saru Saru, the guy, the monkey gimmick. Well, yeah, I know Hooven like hit on that guy's girlfriend, not realizing it was his girlfriend, and that guy got like, oh no, yeah, that's all. Way it was. He was like overly. He was like, if offended. I ever see you outside of. Uh, Outside of wrestling, I'm gonna I'm gonna whoop your ass or something like that. Was like, even fingering her? It, it was he was definitely finger blasting her at the Williamsport show. I saw he it. Was chop, he was using the chop. He held his finger in front of my nose and I smelled it. And he said, "Smell that." And I said, "It smells like something." That dude could have done something and seen Hooven in the flesh and didn't do anything. I was he, gonna say that guy looks like he a knows huge, huge not bitch. to do anything to Hooven because Hooven obviously because he's Chinese is a black belt in Yo! karate. <laughs> So, do not mess with Hooven. So, all right, let's go around the circle. Gary Larry Lee Ryans. If you had a son and a daughter, what would you name them? I would name my daughter... Lisa. Lisa. Lisa sounds good. I like Lisa. Lisa, Lisa Cochran. I mean, Lisa Ryans. Oh, my Happy birthday, Lisa. <laughs> it doesn't matter anyway. We should, Gary we is the like... king of shoot. Shooting. I'm good at shoot. The first time I was ever in a match with Remy, I called him by his real name. Shouted it in front of the crowd. You were. <laughs> son? Did you say what your son would be named? My son? My son, I would name him, uh, I'd probably go like Orville or Xavier or maybe Anakin. Orville. Because <laughs> I love Star Wars. <laughs> Orville, because I love uh, popcorn while watching Star Wars. And uh, Xavier. Xavier, because X-Men. Pump Ferrari. <laughs> no kids. And if you, if you, you should name him Lee Ryan's Wild Child. A son and a daughter. What would you name them? Does this girlfriend of yours know that you, you don't want kids? Doesn't matter because she's a woman, right? I hope so. No, but if you had <coughs> a son and a daughter, what would you name them? From what I'm told, she doesn't know how to have kids yet. Mm. She's what? You're a fucking pervert. Oh shit! Are you? A, is that a pedophile called me? Brian McDowell. Is, no. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, yeah, I took it like yeah. that. I took it like that. Justin for like, a boy, Whoa. girl. No. After plumber, you name it after plumber. No, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, but Justin and Ashley. I'll go with Ashley. Wow. But I hopefully no kids for me either. You should just name them cliche and cliche. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Corey Futuristic, what are your kids' names? Uh, Chum Chum. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> That's a great name. Uh, Half Squat. 
I don't know. Uh, Two Korean adoptees. Li- little twat. What? Little twat and half squat. Little twat and chum chum. That's amazing. Sorry, I'll ask you if you can make love to kids. <laughs> what? <laughs> chum chum and little twat. If I had two kids? Yeah, if you had two kids. If you had to make love to two kids, he said. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Would they be Gary and Larry? Love that name. Wait, which one's the girl? Where'd he go? I'm here. Where are you going? They're all All that booze. The hell? How long have we been doing this? It's tomorrow. Oh. If I had kids? Yeah, if you made love to kids, what would their names be? No. No, it's not right. If I had kids. Do you have kids, Sword? No, I don't have kids. Are you father? No. If you made love to kids, what would their names be? <laughs> I name one Chest. And name the other Layla. Hmm. Layla from, is that uh, like Princess Layla, Star Wars, never mind. Princess Vexor? Yeah. Please close the ending, man. Wait, no, we have two more questions. We have two more questions. Two more questions from the fans. Yeah, we got to wrap from us up fans. in five minutes. I got to get going. I got a future. What's happening? I was going to say, I got to work in the morning. We need one question from the fans. All right. Post it. There are three people listening. Post a question to ask. Wait, the three people that are listening, have they been listening the whole Gary show? Gary Larry Lee. Probably. They're dedicated who fans. Who are they? Do you know who they I are? I get to ask a question. Gary, no, I ask you a question. Ask me a question. Would you rather have a... Uh, would you rather have a... Firefighter's hose shoved in your behind and turned on full blast, or would you rather have a spike, a uh, railroad tie spike, drilled down into your urethra? I would rather have the the hose in my ass on full blast mm-hmm. because um, I can handle out. it. Clean you out? No, I I don't need cleaned out. I would think the fire hose would kill you. No, no, no. I would actually harness that energy and use it to levitate. Like those those deals that you ride around on? No, I just push really hard and use that pressure. It's like reverse pressure. It's like Tom Ferrari holding me up. The hose. No, it's a different question. <laughs> You're <laughs> sick. Question. You're sick. The hose. <laughs> Would you rather have a third nipple or a third eye? But the the third eye is like uh, glaucoma, so you can't really see too well. <laughs> What the fuck kind of a question? And, is that? But the third nipple is lactating all the time. The third nipple. Third nipple. Third nipple lactating all the time. Maybe you're gonna have some coffee. You need some cream. Just pull open your, you know, free cream or yeah, definitely. It's helpful. The, it would be, be the best in sheets squirt. when somebody asks a question. You're just like <laughs> Ryan McDowell. Let's get it. No commenting on your least favorites, but who is your favorite out of these three, Booker wise? What? <laughs> Jake Garrett, Joe Dombrowski, Marshall Gambino. Booking wise. Booker wise. Booking wise. Jake Who's Garrett. my favorite? Oh, was it for Corey? I I was, no, it was that's for, a, it was for That's you. a very, very good question. Uh, wait, so I have to I have to rate them, or no, I'm just, just who's your favorite? Who's your favorite out of Jake Garrett, Jake Garrett Joe Dombrowski, and, and Marshall for Booker's? Probably Marshall. Marshall was good. Corey, futuristic. Yes, sir. If you could change, and you can. Oh God. One thing about the past yeah. twenty years of your life. Yeah. What would the one thing be? Uh. I don't know. <laughs> what? Probably, <laughs> uh, you lose track of your age. I'd probably uh, change the day I met something sparkly in my life or something like that. Whoa. He's talking about, uh, I know where you went with that. Whoa. He went deep. Wow. He went deep. <laughs> Boom. Sword. <laughs> I don't know if I have any more questions. <laughs> What do you want to know about me? What is the big sword question? Have you ever told anybody that you've tasted your own sperm? <laughs> have not? You have not told You've tasted your own sperm before, sword? <laughs> oh. What? 
no. Why haven't you told me that? I've asked Daddy's you this before, dangerous. and you told me no. All right, okay, we got to wrap this up. What's the craziest go. thing you've ever done sexually? If you're not that adventurous, what is the most adventurous you've gotten? Hurry, go. One, two, three. Who is that three, me? Answer. Are you asking me? Well, you can answer too, but Sorg. Okay. I don't want to hear Unless you answer. know Sorg's answer because you're from Do you know my answer? Uh, no. I, I have an I answer. What, you want me to go? Yeah. One time I stuck a finger in a woman's butt and I forgot that I just stuck it in her butt and then I, like, to get more lube, I, like, put the finger is... in my mouth to get more lube and I was like, oh, like, this was already... <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, yeah, Whoa! Like That's terrible. It could be worse. It could be worse. All I have to say is a cost cutter's tanning bed booth sex don't ever tan there in Little Burl. <laughs> Whatever that means. All right, we gotta wrap this Sword. up. Wait, like, we need to know Sword. Yes, this is dragging along. Adventurous, just... adventurous, uh, bed, bed tale, bedside story, or a car side story, or. Kitchen table store. Side. What? <laughs> Whatever. What's your most adventurous thing? Adventurous On the thing? drug bridge at the the gathering. At the gathering. What? Is that what you did for? What did you do for some for the, some black tar heroin? What? <laughs> no drugs. More than marijuana. What? What? Don't say that on public radio. Right? <laughs> so tell us. Look at all those hearts. Who's out there? That's hilarious. Good for that comment. What? So what's your um tell us what's your what's your most adventurous thing you've done? What? In general? Sexually. Oh. We get, we're all friends. Listen. We're all friends. It's only us. And it's the internet. No, no, no. It's not the internet. What? You probably lost but lost what? service a long time. We got like three people that's, watching. No, that's that's not real. Yeah, three people Nothing's watching. Nothing's real right now. Nothing's <laughs> real. Tell yeah, us. this podcast is definitely gonna have to have a uh, parentally advisory or whatever tell us what's called. the most tell us your sexual adventures tell us to end the show because we all have stuff to do tomorrow and we have to go <laughs> stop stalling Wrap he's not show. wrong <laughs> you're gonna work at 9 a.m chest flexor yeah, obviously doesn't have anything to do tomorrow i have lots of things to do tomorrow but i have this to do right now <laughs> answer the question and finish your beer hurry how many answers how many answers so you've never made love to your wife? Oh, what? And what have you done with your wife? A lot. Like? He's <laughs> saying a lot. No. <laughs> Should we call her down? Where's she at upstairs? <laughs> Probably. I don't know. This is getting there where he's not going to say anything. I'll say something tomorrow. <laughs> off the air, maybe, but. Probably. All right, let's turn everything off. He probably right, already told air. you. Let's go, guys. Wait, All right. Let us know. What? So what did you do? What? Sexual. Who did you do? Ah. Where, so what? Remember whenever we were on the plane, you were telling me about the, what? Um, no, your no, child. I was sleeping on the plane. You were talking your sleep then? Oh no! Your childhood pet? What was that? The snapping turtle. We've been popsicle? talking for like no, two no, hours now. Oh, uh, don't tell us about the popsicle. No. Tell us about the, pop the bottle. What? And the, you did that on on drug bridge. Are we off? Then? We're still on. Yeah, we're off. No, we're off. It's fine. He's We're offline. Off See you later, guys. Hey, Goodbye, world. Slash wrestling man show, indie wrestling. US sexy talent. Thanks for having Christmas us, next year. Christmas next year. What? This year. What's going to happen the next the year? Section, What's What's going to happen? Who's naked then? <laughs> There's the <laughs> camera. Gary Larry grab Pump Frog's crotch. Hurry. Chess Flexor. Chess Flexor. <laughs> yes. Give them a message for 2017. 2017. That's Corey's gonna have to tell you. And I'm not from the future. I can tell you right now. Corey though. features think What's the 2017 going to be YouTube. like? YouTube.com. Chess Flexor. Uh, Instagram. Chess Flexor. Twitter. Chess Flexor. Facebook. Chess Flexor. Um, uh, I'm not on uh, Plenty of Fish anymore. Chess uh, Flexor. What's happening in 2017? <laughs> 2017. We're gonna come back Christmas time, and shit's gonna get crazier. Woo! I'm numb. Sick, 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 you know how I act now If you got a problem, come and see if I'm a back down Act wild, steady sipping check now Show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com